Hey guys, we're back and we're going to, and we're here to make another world's best recipe based on the new movie, Blue Beetle. And as always on this channel, we're going to be asking ChatGPT or artificial intelligence to create a recipe for us based on this movie. We're going to try it out. We're going to see if it comes out amazingly. Create a recipe based on the upcoming Blue Beetle movie. See what it says? Blue Beetle Burritos, ooh. A flavorful and adventurous recipe inspired by the Blue Beetle movie, combining rich flavors of Mexican cuisine with a touch of heroism. Oh, there's gonna be heroism in this. Uh, okay, so there's a Blue Beetle marinade, there's burritos. Enjoy your Blue Beetle burritos and the excitement of the upcoming movie. Okay, so there it is. There's the recipe that they have come up with. Uh, if you want to screenshot it or something, but we'll go through it. We're going to actually cook it. We're going to cook it and see if it really is amazing. See if it's the world's best Blue Beetle themed recipe, since it's probably the only Blue Beetle themed recipe. I think it will be. So stay tuned. Let's see how this goes. We'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, we're back in the kitchen and today we're making these Blue Beetle burritos that ChatGPT came up with. As you know, this new Blue Beetle movie's coming out. I don't even know if it's DC or Marvel. I guess I should look into that, but we're gonna make some burritos based on the film and they sound really good, so I'm pretty excited about it. We need to start off by preparing a marinade for the chicken that's gonna be in the burritos. You could also use tofu if you like that sort of thing. So for the marinade, we're gonna take a bowl. Let me move this cutting board, I guess. We don't need it yet. We need a quarter cup of lime juice. Okay, well, two the two limes I got for that purpose only gave me like an eighth of a cup. Luckily, I've got this stuff that I can just shoot into there and uh, it'll get me up to the quarter cup I need. I know it's kind of cheating because it does call for fresh lime juice, but there we go. Quarter cup of lime juice. This is a marinade. We need a quarter cup of orange juice, which sounds acidic. I can just feel the indigestion now if I were to drink this. You know you're getting old when the first thing you think about when you hear orange juice is indigestion. Quarter cup of this. Try not to overflow it. We also want to add to the marinade two tablespoons of olive oil. There is number one and here is number two. Who does number two work for? Who does number two work for? That's right buddy, you show that turd who's boss. And some minced garlic, which I guess that's why I had the cutting board out, because I needed minced garlic. So grab two cloves of garlic and this those really quick. I do have a little garlic press somewhere. Yeah, right here. So I'll just use that. That'll save me time. Thank you, Brian. Someone named Brian sent me that. Okay, so we'll just take these two cloves of garlic and I put them all in there at once. And then, boom. <laughs> it always sticks at the end. All right, so there's some minced garlic in there. I like how this is called the Blue Beetle Marinade. While it contains actually zero beetles, I was hoping we'd be putting beetles in it. We're gonna add some spices. Let me move this cutting board one more time. We're gonna add some spices to this. We need, uh, let's just go in order. It says cumin first, and we need a teaspoon of that. I grabbed a tablespoon, but this is a half, so I'll just do that twice. Keeps my uh, brain fresh when I make sure I do a little math for each video. Some chili powder up next. Another teaspoon of that. One and two halves. Some smoked paprika. Should I have a little guy of that? And that's only half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Oops, ding ding. And a little salt and pepper go in there. Here we go, throw a little salt in there and grind a little pepper into it. And then we'll mix that up. Get all that garlic in there. And that's gonna be our marinade. It's not very much. I think I used way too big of a bowl for this. That's okay. Up next, it calls for one pound, one pound of chicken breast cut into strips. So I already cut it into strips, just buy chicken breast and cut it into strips. I figured it would save us some time in this video if I pre-cut them and mix it into the marinade. I also have cut chicken into strip in like 50, 50 different videos. So I figured might as well just do it this way. So I really just wanna coat it all in this marinade. That's what's gonna give it the flavor. And we're gonna cover it up and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes while we work on the next step. I'm out of saran wrap, so we're using aluminum foil. Okay, so up next, we need to make some rice. It says you can use any rice. I'm gonna use the like rice in a bag version because I always do because I'm lazy. In medium saucepan, bring water to a boil using the table above. Okay. Oh, you just do, it's not even in a bag. Yeah, it's just normal rice. How much water do I need? Let's say it says we need one cup of cooked rice. I'm going to do two cups. It doesn't ever hurt to have a little extra rice. Okay, so it says one cup of rice, one cup of water. Two cups of rice, two cups of water, three cups of rice, three cups of water. So... I don't know, I think I'm gonna do two and two. All right, so we got that water heating up. We're gonna measure out two cups of rice, and that is two cups of water. 
Again, just follow the instructions on your rice box. One and two. It also wants us to heat up some black beans, which I have here. Are they supposed to be, let's see, black beans drained and rinsed. So let me open this. All right, so I just drained and rinsed out these black beans. So now we've got some nice clean black beans. We're gonna put them on the stove too. We're gonna head on over to the stove so we can kind of keep an eye on all this stuff. As far as other ingredients, let's see, is there anything else we should get ready before we leave? Yeah, we can chop some cilantro, dice an onion. Yeah, we got a couple things we should probably do before we head over there. I do feel like ChatGPT has gotten really good at creating really small recipes. <laughs> Every time I do a recipe with them, I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem like very much food. I do have a family of five. Maybe I should just automatically increase the recipe size. Cause it's asking for one quarter cup of diced onion which doesn't seem like very much everyone was yelling at me for cutting an onion wrong in the last video well whatever I do whatever I want my video <laughs> is that from South Park whatever I'll do what I want I'm going home that's more than a quarter cup so it's calling for a quarter cup for the blue beetle burritos but again I mean it seems like a very small amount of that. Okay, our water is boiling. I was just washing the cilantro here. I'm gonna throw the rice into the water, stir in the rice, remove from heat, and cover. So I just put this plate on it as a cover. Not very professional, but it's what I do all the time. So basically five minutes and uh, that should be done hopefully. I just stirred up the black beans a little bit. Yeah, cilantro, like I said, I cleaned that up and now we're going to just chop it. There's some pretty big stems here. I don't think we want to eat. You need a quarter cup of the cilantro for these blue beetle burritos. Again, I think I'm gonna make more than enough with this little amount I did. There's some group of people out there who are not professional chefs who are gonna be okay with watching my videos. And then there's that group of you who are professional chefs, are very particular about the way things are cooked. You won't be able to watch me. <laughs> the way I do things will drive you insane. I'm sorry in advance. Uh, but hey, you know what? There's plenty of good channels where they're very professional and organized about how they cook. This just isn't one of them. The recipe calls for some black olives, a quarter cup of them. So I'm just gonna take out a few black olives and chop them up. Black olives are optional according to me because black olives are disgusting. But you know what? We're gonna try them anyways. I don't, I don't loathe them. I just don't really like them. So disgusting is a strong word. We also have some sliced jalapenos on standby that we can use. Another ingredient you're gonna need is diced tomatoes, which I have a can of diced tomatoes. We can probably open that. And then we're gonna head over there and actually get to the cooking portion of the show. Uh, I can already hear the black beans. I'm not really sure how long I need to leave the black beans on. Chat GPT was not very clear on that front. All right, these black beans are definitely heated up. I, I mean, they're kind of crumbly now. So I think we're gonna take them off or maybe set them back and maybe we can have them revisit the heat a little bit later. But I think they're warm enough. Okay, so five minutes have passed. We're gonna fluff the rice a little as per the instructions. Oh, there's still some water in there. I'm gonna put it back on. I think we need the water to go away. So let's give it a little longer. Okay, so we're back. It's been 30 minutes of our chicken marinating. We're now gonna throw it on this skillet here with some oil as per ChatGPT's instructions. Although it didn't say to use oil, I'm just assuming I should. I don't know, does the chicken look like it soaked it up? I think it did. So let's start throwing some chicken on here and get it cooked up. All right, the stovetop's a little, a little warm, not hot per se. I don't wanna get all the marinade in there, but I don't wanna be slow either. So I'm just gonna kinda dump it in, but not really. All right, turn the heat up a little and let that cook. This blue beetle marinade smells really good actually. I'm just spreading the chicken out. We're gonna cook it for four minutes on each side it says, or until it reads 165 degrees internal. Okay, so I will say this, this is like, as far as the chat GPT recipes, this one I feel like is the one that least resembles the actual thing I asked about, right? I asked it to be based on the movie, The Blue Beetle. And yes, it's got a Blue Beetle marinade that I'm smelling and it smells really good. I'm not really sure what about the marinade made it Blue Beetle-y. I mean, maybe I need to watch the movie and I would understand it a little better, but uh, it's not out yet. Will be by the time this video goes live, probably, or very soon. But yeah, I'm not really sure. I feel like I'm missing out on the blue beetle-iness. We didn't put any beetles in here. It's not blue, but maybe it's got a heroic taste. <laughs> See what I did there? Because he's a hero. I think he's a hero. He might be a bad guy. I'm just slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Flipping all these little pieces of chicken. I realize I kind of disobeyed ChatGPT a little, which hopefully the robot overlords don't get angry at me. But technically, I was supposed to cook the chicken full, like not cut up, and then cut it into strips at the end. 
Unless the chat GPT talks about cutting it twice. I need to double check and see if chat B GPT made a mistake because that would be interesting if it did. Yeah, so chat GPT did kind of make a mistake. In the ingredients list, it says chicken breast cut into strips, but then in the instructions, it tells you to cut it into strips after it's done cooking. So eh, chat GPT is a little confused. Okay, so I think this chicken is pretty close to done. Let me check the temperature, 166. It cooks a little quicker pre-cut anyway, so I'm not I'm not upset that I pre-cut it. Yeah, we're there. Let me check a few more. 186. Let me check this one again. All right, so this is done. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm actually burning some of the pieces. Look, this piece got extra crispy. Should I try it? Try the burnt piece? Why not? It's a good marinade. Very flavorful. So we're gonna heat up some of the, the shells for like 20 seconds, but I'm gonna move my camera back over there so we can actually finalize this. But just, you know, you get the idea. Turn on the skillet, heat it up for like 20 seconds on each side till it's pliable and then you're good to go. Okay, so now we have it over here. We're gonna assemble it. We're gonna start off with a little bit of the rice on there. I guess you could do more. That's not very much rice, but yeah, you know, it's kind of up to your preference. We're gonna add a little bit of the black beans like so. Then we're gonna add a little bit of the proteins. I'm using chicken, you could use tofu or something else. A little onion, some shredded lettuce, some cilantro, and of course some cheese. I'm using some pre-shredded cheddar. This is big, this is a big burrito. I'm gonna take some diced tomatoes out of my can of diced tomatoes here and add that. I feel like you could add sour cream. I almost feel like you should, but I don't think it tells us to. Okay, it then says you could also add some pickled jalapenos, which I'm gonna do, because should I? I don't know, it says optional. There we go, some pickled jalapenos, and now we're gonna just try to fold the burrito, which I've never really done, but it can't be that hard. What it's like an egg that? roll. All right, so we just roll up this burrito. Boom. There we go, it's a burrito. Does it look like a burrito? Yeah. It's like a blue beetle, blue beetle burrito. Let's see, it says... Huge bite. It says I can try. I can serve it with lime wedges if I want to. I'm just gonna take a huge bite, like my daughter said. <laughs> There's your cross section there. Tastes delicious to me. So this is a blue beetle burrito. It says, enjoy your blue beetle burritos and the excitement of the upcoming movie. What a, what a, one out of 10. What do you give it? It's good. Um, okay. It also says, serve the blue beetle burritos with lime wedges on the side for squeezing extra tanginess before indulging in this heroic meal. It's heroic. Tastes heroic, this is delicious. These are great burritos that were super easy to make. I do recommend this one. I don't think it needs to be Blue Beetle related though. You can just make these because they're good burritos. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.